Welcome back to Coxie Tutorials and Gameplay. This is tutorial 25 in our first person shooter series and where we left off in the last tutorial we actually made it so that we can look through the scope of this sniper rifle and actually have a scope image on the screen that, mim that, sorry, that mimics zooming in through an actual scope. So that's what we did last time and what we're going to do today is make it so that this gun can actually shoot the enemies and do everything the other two guns can do make blood and um, put bullet marks on walls and also play the spark effect when it hits anything else okay so the first thing I noticed when I started this project today was that where we made the canvas scope last time uh, this camera here if we go to the game view um, we have this image texture on the screen constantly um, which you can just switch off and on here but the problem is if you switch this off and then play the game it's not going to actually um, show up when you look down the scope so I thought we'd just quickly fix this in the um, code that we wrote last week uh, this, thing, this canvas is a game object so it's very easy to turn these on and off um, so just go back into our scripts. I've actually put our scripts in four different folders. Uh, you can organize yours however you want, but I have the uh, enemy scripts, other and player scripts and weapon scripts and I've just put the uh, appropriate scripts in each folder. And in other I've just put our door script and static variables for now, but you know later on we can always make folders within these folders and separate them further if we need to. So anyway, go into uh, your weapon scripts if you make a weapon scripts folder and get the my zoom script from the last tutorial. Open that up. I'll just zoom in a little bit and um, up here we'll just add another variable which will be scope canvas and that is of type game object as I just showed you guys before okay, so under function awake we want to make sure that we can't see the scope canvas so we're going to set active false here so scope canvas dot set active false. Um, it's a bit annoying at the moment, I know that we're using JavaScript in our MonoDevelop and in the new versions of MonoDevelop there's no autocomplete um, for coding so it's, it's, it's a bit more difficult, you have to be really careful how you type everything out um, because it's not going to show up and just autofill each sentence for you so in future tutorial series that I do I'll definitely just be using um, C sharp okay so we've set it to false in function awake and then on function GUI um, when enable aim is equal to true we are going to make sure that it's set back to true so we're going to set the active to true so we can actually see the image and then under any other circumstances we want it set back to false again so we can't see it. Okay, that's done, save that and then go back into Unity and then on our camera zoom we should now have the uh, scope canvas slot here so just uh, for a start click on this scope canvas and you can just turn it off now so that we don't actually see it in the game screen and then you can just drag that across oops sorry make sure you clicked on your camera zoom and just drag that across into this slot here and now we can use our scope again and it's also disappeared off the game screen we could do the same basically to the you die text but it's not really worrying me at the moment so we'll go ahead and um, get this script ready for the sniper rifle so that we can use that in the game 
So in my weapon script folder, I'm just going to create a new JavaScript and just call it sniper sniper rifle. Open that up. Also open up the uh, Raycast shooting script and we will need the static variable script as well to make a new uh, ammunition type because that is where we currently have our two other ammunition types which is our ammo which was just for the minigun and then we had the shotgun ammo and uh, now you need to add this line of code here which is uh, static var sniper rifle ammo and I'm just gonna equal that to four for now so you'll start off with four shots in the sniper rifle which is fair enough because the sniper rifle is pretty OP in this game at the moment so we'll go to our Raycar shooting script now and we'll just copy all of this code because we're going to use this and just add some other stuff to it so just copy that and then go to your sniper rifle get rid of all this and then just uh, paste the Raycar shooting script on here <clears throat> um, the enemy damage just leave that as 10 because we can just change that in the inspector uh, everything else uh, okay so here with the physics ray cast hit 100 you could uh, make this a further distance or a longer distance sorry if you want um, you could say like 300 meters which sniper rifle would go a lot further than that but that will be fine that's a very long way on this map so I change that and we don't have a sound effect for the uh, sniper rifle either so we're going to have to add a new variable hover sniper shoot Sound. and I want that to be a capital S as well of course sniper shoot sound and that is of type audio clip so we want our function update here um, this is where we're accessing the um, the bullet counter basically on our screen where is it? it'll be in our main canvas and uh, our ammo UI so this is what it's accessing there if you've missed um, the other tutorials and we're turning that into a string and we're using the, um, the static variable ammo here in our static variable script but we don't want that because that ammunition is actually for the minigun and of course uh, this is for the sniper rifle so we will need to go back into our static variable script it's better if you just uh, copy and paste this rather than trying to type it in because if you spell it wrong um, you're just going to get errors and it's not going to work so you just copy and paste it come up here to this line and change ammo to sniper rifle ammo and we'll need to change it also here so if we get the left mouse button um, we're gonna have to change this too because this is for the minigun also and this is if you actually hold the button down and we just want to press the button so you get button down uh, left mouse button and static variables ammo which is sniper rifle ammo is greater than zero so we have ammunition and then we shoot out the ray and if we hit something within 300 uh, unity units or 300 meters we're going to uh, hit the, uh, we're going to send a message sorry to apply the damage and uh, we don't require a receiver for that and then we're going to play the, the bullet effects and deduct one off our ammunition and we need to change that also to the sniper rifle and we'll also need to add here our audio clip yes we we'll want to play that here 
as well. We could play it there as well, but we'll play it here. So, um, I can't remember how to do this. I haven't been using JavaScript for <laughs> for over a month. So, all right, we're going to say get component. Audio source. Then you've got to have the open and close parentheses. Actually, it's get component dot audio source. Open and close parentheses dot play one shot. And then the name, which is the uh, sniper shoot sound. close the parentheses and finish off with a semicolon and all oh, this is fine this is all the same so when we're hitting the environment we're playing the bullet holes and when we're hitting the enemy we're playing the blood and if we hit anything apart from the enemy or the environment we're going to play that spark effect that we made okay so just save that and go back into unity hopefully we won't get any errors that's all good so we will go to our sniper rifle just uh, close or lock it up there in the inspector and then go into your scripts and uh, grab that sniper rifle script and put that on and just leave it locked for the time being because we're going to need to fill out all of these first of all the damage well my enemy's damage my enemy has 150 health on my game um, so I'll just say 150 for the sniper rifle so it kills in one shot and assets will go into our prefabs folder and the bullet holes I'll just use the same one as the minigun for now blood effect spark effect was the flare one the bullet amount UI is what we looked at before uh, the bullet counter and the sniper shoot sound. I've actually gone. Yes, I did get it. I just got this uh, offline. I just typed in. Sniper shoot sound. It's that easy and uh Where is it? 50, 50 sniper shot. I just got that one there. It's not the greatest sniper rifle sound. There's some. There's probably some better ones on there, but I just grabbed that one. So you go ahead and grab whatever you want, and then bring it into Unity. And I'll also put that on the sniper rifle. Okay, that should be fine now. So we should be able to use this sniper rifle. Okay, so I've shot him and I killed him one shot. We could always add um, hit boxes on the enemies and like make one for his head so it does more damage than when you shoot him in the body. Uh, things like that. I'll just test out. Just playing the spark effect on that. And the bullet hole on that. Okay, so that's working fine. How are we going for time? I think we'll just leave it there and just make this a short one and I'll get another tutorial up really quick um, with the different ammo types so that we have an ammo box for each of the guns because at the moment we only have the uh, minigun ammo type which is in here. So we've got this one here. Um, yeah, we're going to have to change that. I'll just unlock my inspector here so I actually can see this. We've got this ammo minigun script on the minigun uh, ammunition type at the moment. And this script, I don't really like this script. I think I'm just going to change this completely. Um, doing it this way, we'd have to make a script for every single ammunition box. Whereas we could just make a script that is actually on the player. And then we can make it so that... Uh, we tag all the ammunition types and then when the player walks into any of them ammunition types um, 
it gives him the required amount of ammo for that gun that he's carrying. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll do that in the next tutorial, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.